This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, we got Asian doll now. Uh, people were saying that her OnlyFans that she was trying to put out was trash. Some people bought it. This artist from uh, QC bought it. How many artists are in QC that I know nothing like had that nobody knows anybody anything about? It seems like you only know QC for like you know about four or five artists they've had in the past. And then they just signed a slew of artists that nobody even knows about. And they can't get them hot. Because you can't strike gold that many times. Like, sometimes you're on a streak. And they were on a streak. They had the Migos. And they had uh, Little Yachty. And our midst that, they had uh, Jose Guapo that was down with the Migos. They had Rich the Kid for a little bit. Um, obviously, he moved on. Um... If they were smart, they would have paid. They would have gotten. Uh, they would have gotten Pee Wee the Long Way and stuff like that down with them, but they didn't. I don't know if Pee Wee the Long Way signed, but uh, there's a lot of them. So this guy like goes back and forth with Asian Doll. Like, let me know which one's your favorite. And she, he said, "I hate you, scamming." Sent my twenty dollars back, and she says, "When you get real money, you can spoil me." He said, "Nah, I'm good. The money good over here." I don't know. Also, Asian Doll could still claims that she made 100k in a day. I mean, come on. We'll get to OnlyFans in a little bit. She sh uh, then we got Billboard and Luminate took away another 4,000 of the real sales of Russ's album, making that 10,000 sales they total took away from me, allowing major labels to fake their streams and sales and do monopolistic merch bundles only uh, major labels are allowed to do merch bundles yeah that's not fair Russ did good numbers and some of these these other companies have major labels you know these major labels sorry not companies these other artists have major labels and are putting up numbers that Russ does it's like it's pretty embarrassing. I, I I can imagine they're embarrassed by it and they're putting pressure on Billboard to like, yo, don't make make them look worse. L O Cool J rightfully called out Jay Z. I'm gonna keep screaming this because Jay Z thought he was too good to show up to Hip Hop 50. There's no excuses. I was on tour with my wife and da da da. No 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 no. You fly in for other stuff. You know you can't fly in for the very to celebrate the very. Uh, what puts you on the, the 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 culture that put jay-z's like a huge part of the culture Nas showed up ll showed up these guys are big time you know like ll has a lot of other stuff going on Nas has a lot of other stuff going on jay-z has a lot of other stuff going on too but it's like come on man like it was blatant that he was like the only one to not show up you know it was really weird and I don't blame LL Cole for calling it. I was like, you're not above this. You know, like, this is a time where we are able to all celebrate. Um, Pinky Doll. This is the girl that goes, yes, yes, yes. Ice cream so good. She looked a lot darker during the streaming awards. And people called it out. They said she's usually more light-skinned like this. Yeah, she could have gone on vacation. I'm gonna be honest, or it could be the lighting. I, I, you know, I don't know. You know, who cares? Yeah, you know, people, people just maybe people were shocked. She looks good, dark. She looks good, light. You know, she's annoying. She looks good both ways. I don't know. People look for things. Uh, Tristan Thompson trying to reduce his child support from 40k a month. With his first baby mom because he's making $8 million less in his contracts. Um, Black Youngster. Is he going to crash out and slide now that they've identified the guy? I'm, I ain't going to lie. They look they look like they're related. This is the guy that took out his brother, allegedly, right? The guy in the green. Um, this is what the police have identified as. He said he's going to crash out in many posts. Um, we'll see what happens here. I, you know, I don't think it's a good thing to crash out, but he stated what he stated. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying, yeah, go, go crash out, bro. It's like, nah, you know, it's like all that's going to happen from that is you're going to get locked up, you know? Now you did attract this energy with the whole young doll thing, but, uh, 
it's got to stop somewhere. Otherwise, it'll just stop with you being in jail. It's not a smart move to go crash out, even though you want to. But, hey, he's going to do what he does. Uh, and we'll see. He kind of looks like Dusty Banks. <laughs> I'm not going to Oh, uh, man, uh, just speaking of crashing out. So Charleston White was on a podcast. Um, and I think it was... Da- let, me, let me make sure I give these people credit. Okay. It was the Danza Project, okay? And Brittany Renner was up there. And she kind of lost her mind. She started, like, twerking on Charleston White and then throwing water at the guests. I need clarity on this situation. What's going on here? She threw water at him. This is the Danza Project. I don't know. And maybe she should, if she's low on money or something, go to OnlyFans and and make that money. This guy paid himself a million dollars a day in 2022. He made $338 million in dividends, which is from profits, um, according to financial filings. If she, people would pay for Brittany Renner. For sure. If they're paying for any even $20 for Asian Doll. Anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.